Okay, good day guys. We're here back at FedEx Automotive. This is your boy Shane and just giving you a little highlight on the latest project going on here right now in the garage. So what we have here is our customer came to us with this project. Simple setup, RB25 um, GT Neo, big turbo wastegate, aftermarket intake, stock injectors for the while. And uh, he wanted to do something with it. He acquired the ECU master lines of ECU, the block to be specific, which is a very, very good ECU to put on this application. So when he brought it, to, he brought it in, he, we got a flying lead harness, and we basically did the entire build with respect to the electrical for him. So now we're gonna show you what the flying lead harness looks like. So here we have. The loom built in, it will go from inside the vehicle to outside. A nice feature of this ECU is that it has a built in wideband controller. So, here we have the connector for the wideband sensor. Um, we have some other fancy sensors inside here, such as the air temperature sensor. We have boost solenoid already pinned out, so everything is just to connect so it'd be easy for, to be serviced. Anytime the customer wants to service his engine, um, coil packs, we have the injectors, everything is a complete, completely built engine harness. If we come back across here, you would see um, two other connectors. This is this was put in place here so that the harness could be easily removed and reinstalled anytime the customer wants. We also have another connector here. This is for a rotary switch, which will control the, the, the boost solenoid. All right, here's an example of the rotary switch. And it will be installed like this. Very simple. And right, so as you can see, the harness very nicely built, very good quality. You yeah, know, cutting and joining of any wire, everything was straight runs. All these connectors were crimped, heat shrinked, and it's a very versatile harness. So, that's it from us for today. Stay tuned for more updates on this particular build and many more. Alright, welcome back. So, we're here with the C33 Laurel again. Um, it's been some time. We're back here. Uh, we was busy with other work. So, successfully install the built harness and ready to start up the vehicle. Now prior to this video we do have to check back for everything, make sure everything working, all the sensors read in and we did indeed do a pre-startup. So here now we're gonna show you that the harness was successfully installed. Um, see all the injectors installed neatly, cam angle sensor, full on temperature sensor etc. So, we're going to do our startup. So follow me. Startup. Um, we have a lot of cleaning up to do, but we can't do that here. The next step to do is to take it to the dyno. So, when we take it to the dyno, we get fully functional, everything clean up the tune and make some power. So, if you're all wondering where the ECU is located now, um, I'll be a sneak peek at that right now. So, if we look here, the customer 
requested that the ECU be located at, in the center console. So we have it here, just mocked up until he comes. So we will confirm the exact location and then we will mount it properly. The boost switch, which we spoke of earlier in the previous segment, we install it right in this area here. So after the tune, he should be able to turn up his boost to different levels as he wishes or turn it down. So there's the conclusion for this video on this vehicle. Um, but that's not all, we still have to hit the dyno. So the next time you see this vehicle, it'll be on the dyno making some crazy power. Um, but it's, it's non stop work here at FedEx. So the next project that we just rolled in was this one uh, Nissan 200SX S14, straight out at Tobago. And here's a sneak peek of what will be going on at FedEx for the next couple of weeks. Welcome back, welcome back. So we're here at FedEx Automotive once more again. It's your boy Shane. So we're back with the S14. We're about to start work on this. So a little history on this car. The car is currently owned by Boss Lab Racing across the Nisa style to Tobago. Um, what he did, we got fully built engine in here. Um, later on you'll find out what engine it is exactly. We know it is, but we will reveal that later. Um, he did some more work on it and as a result he wanted to upgrade the harness work in it so he sent it across to us. So we received a package from um, Edon Racing containing some Haltech products. So we're going to do some unboxing and let's see what we have in store for us. We already cut the, the main tape. So here we have a nice Haltech box here. I need to show where it is. We're gonna break the seal just now. Alright? So we also have what looks like a flying lead harness for the Haltech. Yep, flying lead for the Elite 2500 series. series. Let's see what's going on in this box here. Got this nice seal. Well, our next cover. IC7 Digital Dash. This is the product that again gonna be installed in the vehicle. Well, this is the additional product to what the vehicle already has. Damn. 